Hey guys, it's May May, and for tonight's project, you are going to need a few items from around your house or garage. Now, I understand not everybody's going to have wood like this just laying around in their garage. This is two by fours that I actually did have laying in my garage. When we rebuilt the house from the house fire, we ended up with a lot of wood pieces, and I have kind of made it my mission to use them in craft projects, which is so fun for everybody because I have to get people to cut them for me. So um, I'm going to show you this project, then I'm going to show you some pictures of some other stuff I've done with the wood that was in the uh, garage. But this was a two before um, piece of wood. It was 12 feet long. I didn't use anywhere near all that 12 feet. We actually just cut some random pieces. And this piece is about 16 inches long here in the back. Then they kind of work down by roughly an inch and a half to two inches on each one. I did not measure. I just wanted it to be kind of rough and rustic. I'm using five pieces of wood. This piece is going to be a base, so it's really not going to be used for um, the art part of the project. But these pieces will have words on them. So you're going to need you that. You also need a selection of paints. Now these are the ones I'm going to use, and they are just different colors of fall paints. Um, I'm going to stick with this color scheme for now, and then in a minute we will talk about the second color scheme. You'll need some water to rinse your brushes with, and you'll need brushes. So, we're going to get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is base coat all of these with a solid base color. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now you can see that I've painted them in a dark brown color, and I've only painted three sides. I don't think they're dry enough yet. Let me see if this one is. Yeah, I've only painted three sides. This side, I'm going to paint black once the other side dries. And I'm not going to wrap the black around the edges. I want them to be brown on the edges. So you want to keep your edges brown like this. And then on the other side, you will paint them black. So I'm going to go ahead and let these dry, paint the other side black, and then I will come back and show you what we'll do next. Okay, you guys, so these are drying. And what I've done, here's a good example. On three sides of the wood, I've painted it brown. On one base of the wood, I've painted black. And let me show you the side. It does not have to be perfect because this is a rustic craft. Okay. So, um, now what I'm going to do is kind of move all these pieces away and we're going to concentrate on one. So I can kind of show you what we're going to do. I'm going to let the black dry because I'm going to work on the brown side first. So once that's dried, I will come back and show you what we're going to do. Okay. I apologize in advance for any shadows. I'm having to do this without my tripod. So we're doing this one by hand, but I'm going to see if this will work for us. I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm just simply going to, and I'm holding the camera and drawing at the same time, but I'm going to come around the edge here and just kind of make a swervy, loose, little, non-perfect edge, leaving a little bit of the brown to show. And I really don't mind if it's messy because I'm actually going for that look. So I'm going to do this to all of the blocks. Let me bring this up and see if you can kind of see that edge. See that kind of drawn, messy edge? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a color of paint in my fall colors, and I'm going to paint inside of that swirly little messy line I just did. And I'm going to make a base on top of this out of a solid color of paint leaving a brown edge all the way around. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Now what I've done is I've gone through and I've painted each one. You can really see it on the orange. Each one of them is like that. Um, that is a big knot in the wood. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix it. But you can see how each one is kind of a messy edge around it. But this one, you can see how it's got some brown in there in the middle. What I did was I took a paper towel and wadded it up, and then I put it into brown paint, and then I really 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 patted it off till it was almost dry and then I just went across it and kind of dry brushed it on to kind of knock some of that green out because I want it to be not quite so garish like this one will look really good once I get the brown done so that's literally what I'm gonna do is just go over them like this to kind of rub it in once they're dry and I'll be right back so now you can see that orange is not quite as garish as it was and the burgundy has some brown in it it's really hard to see the brown in the burgundy but you can see it in real life but look how good these colors turned out they look like um colored wood basically so i have the fronts covered in their color and their texture the back is black okay and that's on every one of them and i'll explain why as we go now that piece over there is going to be the base so i'm not too stressed about how it looks because it's going to be pretty solid so now for the fun part what you want to do is decide what four words you want to do that have to do with fall. 
I know I want to do hay rides on this one. I think that'll be really cute. Um, I can't decide the other ones. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go online and look up some fall words and see which one speaks to me. And I'll be back. So there you go guys, that's what we created. I painted the words and I just let the brush do the work. I want to show you on pumpkins what I mean. I don't mind the brush strokes. I think it looks kind of rustic and I like it. So you can see all the little strokes in that. And you just kind of let the brush do the writing for you. And just and don't overwork it. You just want it to look rustic and no big deal, just like you did it. And this one, because of that big knot hole in it, I couldn't decide what to do. So I decided to paint just a... A sloppy little pumpkin up there and I thought it looked cute. Now the back side is black and the reason for that is because at Christmas I'm going to paint words on it for Christmas. I'm not going to do it tonight because where I'm putting this at my house I'm not sure what I'm going to decorate like at Christmas so this is where I'm stopping. So um, let me know what you think of these kind of projects. Real simple. I'm sorry to have my tripod up the whole time. Um, my son borrowed my tripod so I just had to do this one in sections but it's not hard to follow. This was pretty easy. It's mostly just blocks of wood and color. The only thing I'm going to do next is I'm going to coat it in an outdoor sealant and I'm actually just going to use an outdoor Mod Podge. So be sure you do that. Um, you don't want it to get all, you know, your acrylic paints to come off or anything. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that Hello Craft, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>